expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free French ebook before it's gone. Aligo. Aligo. Aligo is a French dish made of potatoes mixed with melted cheese and French cream and butter and a lot of yummies and salted pepper. On mange de l'aligo à Noël. We eat aligo for Christmas. Bouillabaisse. 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 So bouillabaisse is a French dish from south of France, from the city of uh, Marseille. And it's a fish stew and it's tasty. Camembert. Camembert. A cheese. And depending on the quality of it, it can get really smelly. So if it's old and good, it will be really smelly and gooey. And when you slice it, really, it will go like... Clafouti. Clafouti. Clafouti is a kind of tart or pie. And usually we put um, berries inside, like cherries or raspberries or any berries, a mix of berries. You can also have some with apricot. Je mange des clafoutis en été. I eat clafouti in summer. Crème de marron. Chestnut purée. Crème de marron. Chestnut purée. So it's really just chestnut and sugar. I'm not really a fan of it and some people just eat it like that, out of the pot. La crème de marron est très sucrée. Chestnut purée is really sweet. Fougas. Fougas. You can put a lot of stuff in, like olives and dried uh, duck meat. This one is really good. Sweet one can be filled with uh, raisins or some fruits maybe, or just the crispy kind of bread. Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Do you know the movie Ratatouille with the tiny rat from Disney? So it's a stew made with lots and lots of veggies. And you can also have it cold, like you make it, you make a big pot of it, and the day after, you can eat it cold and it's really good too. La ratatouille peut se manger chaude ou froide. You can eat ratatouille either hot or cold. Salade niçoise. Salade niçoise. Niçoise means it's from the city of Nice, which is in the south again. You can have uh, olives, anchovies inside, uh, cold potatoes. It's called salad, but there is no actual salad in there. You can have like long green beans. And it's really fresh and really healthy too. La salade niçoise vient de Nice. Salade niçoise comes from Nice. Soup au pistou. Basil soup. So it's a basil soup with olive oil, garlic. La soupe de pistou est faite avec du basilic. Soup de pistou or pistou soup is made out of basil. Tapenade. Tapenade is a paste made of olives and garlic and capers and most people add anchovies in it. It's really tasty and really salty so if you like salty stuff and anchovies maybe you will like this one. So you can spread it on bread or just dip your bread sticks in there. It's also a recipe from the south because they like fishes and olives. First one is dormir en classe. To sleep in class. I used to do that. Je dors en classe près du radiateur. I sleep in class next to the heater. So the trick for it is to go in the back of the class and near the heater when it's winter. And then you can sleep in a warm and comfy place on your desk. And if you get the biggest dude of the class just sitting in front of you, it's perfect because then your teacher cannot see you anymore. Échouer à un cours. Fail a class. This I never did though. Well, if you fail a class, you are going to repeat it. Si on échoue un cours, on va le redoubler. So yeah, don't fail the class. Because then you have to take it again and again and you don't like it. So please pass it the first time. This way it's done and over, which is nice. Fainéant or fainéante for feminine. Lazy. I'm so lazy. Je suis vraiment feignant. J'étais trop feignant et je n'ai pas fait mes devoirs. I was lazy and didn't do my homework. Bad student, bad. And then you have to come up with excuses for why you didn't do your homework. Like, my dog ate my paper. Uh, ne pas aller en classe. To skip class. What do you do when you are skipping class? Leave it in the comments for the other students. If you skip class, you're going to get a notice. Si vous n'allez pas en classe, vous allez recevoir une notice. 
and then your parents get angry at you and cut out your allowance. Brutalize, to bully. That's super mean. <laughs> Don't do that. This is not even being a bad student. It's just being a bad person. <laughs> Don't bully people. Ne brutalisez pas les gens. I was bullied a lot. <laughs> Plagia, plagiarism. Or actually we say to copy, copier. We're gonna copy someone's homework. Give me your homework so I can copy it. Passe-moi tes devoirs que je puisse les copier. Bad. Remettre à plus tard. To procrastinate. We also say procrastiner. I like procrastinating. J'aime procrastiner. Or j'aime remettre à plus tard. And then it's the last day and you didn't do it and you got your four pages long paper to write and you got no idea to where to start and then you are hopeless and then you put out an all-nighter and then you are sad and tired and everything. Try to not procrastinate, even if we all do it a bit. Tricher à un examen. To cheat on a test. Like, like if you got sleeves, instead of writing on your hand because you can see it, you can put it on the back of your sleeves. Or oh, when the teacher distributes your papers, then I would uh, not stuff under the paper on the table. And then put the paper back on and be like... <laughs> and then when you can't start the test, you just have all the answer under it on the table and you can just put the paper back on the table. <laughs> Bad. So what's your tip to cheat on the test? Leave it in the comment to help the other bad students. Élève absentéiste. Truant. That's kind of a harsh word. One with absence from school without permission. Yet yeah, usually the bad guys will do this and not come to school and you can just see them outside smoking cigarettes and being all rebellious and not coming to class. Un élève absentéiste fait l'école buissonnière. A truant is doing bush school. That's how we call it in French, because you would just go hide behind the bushes instead of going to school. Chatterbox. Une pipelette. It sounds a bit feminine, but we use it for both genders. And uh, it's someone who talks a lot and always be like in class and the teacher will turn and get angry and stop speaking in my class, go outside. On m'a mis dehors car je suis une pipelette. I was put outside of the class because I'm a chatterbox. Intelligent. Smart. Intelligent. Smart. Are you smart? Êtes-vous intelligent? I'm the smartest. Je suis la plus intelligente. Huh? Or je suis le plus intelligent, if you are a guy. Émotif. Emotional. Émotif. Emotional. <laughs> I, I remember that one time I got really emotional because uh, we, we ate all the apples and there was the last apple standing by itself and I got really sad for the apple because the apple was all alone. Hashtag true story. Les films me rendent émotif. Movies make me emotional. And then when the guy loves the girl but he dies in the end and then they cannot be together ever again like in the bridges of Madison Country, this was super sad and made me emotional. What makes you emotional? Qu'est-ce qui vous rend émotif? Leave a comment and tell me. <laughs> cool. 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 You, you can just throw the cool sunglasses on my face. I am so cool. Je suis trop cool. Honnête. Honest. Honnête. Honest. Je vais être honnête avec vous. I'm going to be honest with you. This is one simple sentence you don't want to hear because then something really bad is going to follow that. Tan, tan, tan. Paresseux. Lazy. Lazy. Paresseux. You are very lazy. Vous êtes très paresseux. Paresseux is also uh, the French name for slas. <laughs> I'm very lazy. Je suis très paresseuse. Being lazy is nice. Être paresseux, c'est bien. From time to time. Drôle. Funny. Drôle. Funny. I'm not funny. Je ne suis pas drôle. Of course I'm funny. Bien sûr, je suis drôle. Ha! Huh, what's so funny? Qu'est-ce qu'il y a de si drôle? Romantique. Romantic. Romantique. Romantic. I had a romantic weekend. J'ai passé un weekend romantique. A romantic dinner. Un dîner romantique. Un dîner aux quatre chandelles. Is what we call a romantic dinner. Is saying you put up candles and have a nice dinner with your significant other. Hi guys, so romantic. <laughs> Sérieux. Serious. Sérieux. Serious. I'm super serious. <laughs> Je suis super sérieux. Mm. A serious subject. Un sujet sérieux. My teacher is very serious. 
Mon professeur est très sérieux. Amical, friendly. Amical, friendly. This cat is very friendly. Ce chat est très amical. It's not true. He's just tricking you to give him food and then he will slash your face in your sleep. She is very friendly. Elle est très amicale. Grincheux, bad tempered. Grincheux, bad tempered. This is also the name of the dwarf in what, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Grincheux is the one that's always grumpy. So you can also say grumpy. So in French, it's grincheux. My grandma is really bad tempered. Ma grand-mère est très grincheuse. Généreux. Generous. Généreux. Generous. Yeah, sometimes. If you're my friend and you don't have money, then I will pay everything for you. And you don't have to give it back because you're my friend. He was very generous and gave all his money to charity. Il fut très généreux et donna tout son argent à une œuvre de charité. Generous. A generous serving. Une portion généreuse. When you get a big amount of food on your plate. Artistic. 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 This painting is very artistic. Cette peinture est très artistique. Or, better, uh, ce tableau est très artistique. Poli, polite. Poli, polite. She is very polite. Elle est très polie. I'm not very polite. Je ne suis pas très poli. I should be more polite. Je devrais être plus poli. Être poli au repas de famille. To be polite during family dinner. Indécis, indecisive. Indécis, indecisive. I'm really indecisive about the next sample sentence. Je suis très indécise à propos de la prochaine phrase. Hmm. I'm really indecisive about what I should have for dinner. Je suis très indécise à propos de ce que je devrais manger pour dîner. Because I like food, but I cannot eat too much at night. To be indecisive, être indécis. Gentil, kind. Gentil, kind. C'est très gentil de ta part. This is really kind of you. So it's the end for this week, but if you want to learn more French, visit frenchpod101.com, somewhere around, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Energetic. Energetic. Yeah! Uh, yeah! 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 Give me an A! Give me a Y! Give me an A! Yeah! I'm also very energetic today. Energetic.